So guys, for the first step, we're going to head over to search and type in Task Manager. Click on it. Once you're on it, you want to find anything that says Roblox on it, and you want to click on it, and then click on End Task. Then you want to head over to the Details tab, and you want to do the same thing. So you want to find anything that says Roblox on it, you want to right click on it, and then click on End Process Tree. For the second step, we're going to head over to search and type in Allow an app through Windows Firewall. Click on it. Once you're on this, you want to click on Change Settings. And then you want to scroll down till you see Roblox. I don't have it installed in this computer, but once you find Roblox, you want to make sure that both of these are ticked for both private and public. You might have multiple applications that start with Roblox, so you want to make sure that all of this is ticked for private and public for everything that says Roblox on it. And then click on OK. Next, you want to find Roblox or the Roblox Launcher application. You want to right click on it, click on Show More Options, and then click on Properties. Then you want to click on Compatibility, and you want to tick Disable Full Screen Optimizations, and click on OK. For the next step, we're going to head over to search and type in CMD. Then we're going to run it as administrator. And then click on yes. Once we're on this, we're going to type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS and click on enter. Then we're going to type in netsh space winsock space reset and click on enter again. Now you want to restart your computer and the problem should be fixed.